I wanted to give you a little tour of the remodel real quick. So there's our big open space. As you can see here, there was a wall there blocking off Marv. Hi, Marv. <laughs> Waving with his magnifying glass. And then there was a little wall here blocking off that area. And then they're walking into the kitchen. There was a wall here from the post on over. So I couldn't see Marv. And when I get on the other side, I'll show you. He's now got a view out the window. And everything's just so bright and light. I'll have to have a post in the middle of the counter, which is unfortunate, but we'll live with it. It's going to house electrical outlets and um, switches for the light, so that'll be okay. Uh, first, I was we were toying with the idea of getting new cabinets, or at least cabinet fronts, but we're going to hold off. We're not getting new cabinets, we decided. And we're going to hold off on cabinet fronts, but we'll we'll be touching all of this up. There used to be this big, just to the left of the post here, there used to be big 48-inch uh, cabinet, and it's now moved over here. So that was great. And what was here was a microwave in the wall and a couple of small cabinets. We're repurposing one of them. And um, I got an over the range microwave. This is where we'll repurpose that one. It's just the same as the one over the um, fridge there. You can see where the tile ends. That's where the old cabinet was, but now we'll put the shorter cabinet and it's a real squatty over the range microwave that we will put up there and that should work out really good. The VA will be paying for us to turn these lower cabinets into drawers and we're tossing around a few different ideas of how to do that. Gordon will be doing that for us. And so I got these cabinets here at our lows and they're just their stock cabinets and they're definitely not high-end but Gordon's gonna work with them and he is going to put soft close hinges on them and soft close drawers on them and they have a nice uh, what do you call that Melanie Melanie bottom in them so that should be great and so this one we're going to raise the island up a little bit it's always been a little short for me and this is just an inch higher and that should be make a big difference i think this one will go right here on this south end of the island and this countertop will be coming off we'll be able to use this portion of the countertop right here over here on this new little coffee bar area. So this is just three 18 inch cabinets that I got there at Lowe's and they're gonna work out great. I've got already, I have to take this apart when he goes to paint them and fix them, but I've already got my recycle here and I've got all of my nuts and seeds which I'm gonna label here and all of my cloth napkins here so that's just working out great and uh, Jesse's food goes here with his treats and those are peanuts for the Blue Jays and I haven't figured out all of these small drawers oh there's a few more Jesse items here um, I don't know if those will stay there or if I'll put them down with the food, but yeah, I have a little coffee bar and 
Um, I really wanted to find a place for this uh, piece. This is a uh, tiled work that I just love. And this artist is famous. He's his name is Hogan Young, and he's he's Native American, and uh, he's done a big mural at the Albuquerque Airport and at banks in Albuquerque and Santa Fe. And so I really love it. And I, this is the only wall I could think of to put it on because there aren't any walls in this kitchen. So up above that will be two shelves. I don't know if you can see the lines here, but so we tore out a big pantry and made this little area here. So I wanted a place for my coffee pot and I wanted a place for my uh, air fryer. And that's gonna work out really well, I think. From the living room here, you can't really even see it when you're sitting on the couch, it just disappears. So there's Marv's view out the um, window now that he didn't have before. And um, like I said, the microwave will go away. That's so I know I have two coffee pots. Uh, this one's the working one right now. I had a, another white one for this kitchen and it broke. And so I got this little one on and uh, I don't have power over here yet. Uh, Gordon's still got to run the power. So um, yeah, and on these shelves, I'm going to put my white dishes, uh, my everyday dishes. So that should be really great. And, oh, I wanted to tell you, uh, Gordon is going to, these drawers have just a little bit different edge on them than my current drawers. They're close, but not exactly. And Gordon said he can easily fix that um, with a router bit. So we'll have him do that, and he'll be spraying all of these white. And then we'll have butcher block countertop on here. So that's going to be really pretty and it'll be natural. And then of course the VA is uh, paying to have us put hardwood floors and take out all of our carpet. So this um, dining area will be coming out. And uh, we just love the beam. We weren't sure if we were going to be able to keep the beam, but we are. Uh, it's really nice and clean. Gordon said sometimes they're really rough looking. Oh, and I want to show you one other thing. Um, I'm soaking seeds to make sprouts. So they have to soak overnight and then they, they go up in this little um, container here. Uh, and you rinse them twice a day and make sprouts. There's uh, green French lentils and broccoli seeds. So this messy, messy laundry room. I'm going to have Gordon make me new shelves here that will really utilize this space a lot better. There's lots of empty space that doesn't have shelves. It's really not working. And when I had to empty that big pantry, I just threw a, everything in here, but I will get it all organized. And I do have some empty drawers that I can move some of this stuff and I will be having uh, space opening up as I rearrange things. And uh, he'll, he'll be making me um, new shelving. So all of this mess is going to be beautifully contained by the time we get done with it. So there you have it. That's the, that's the plan. Oh, and I'll uh, give an update on the cabinets and what we are talking about doing with these. They're going to be remade too. These, uh, we're going to get rid of this arch and, um, it, that's that's another story for another time. Okay, update. I'll keep you keep you posted on any more. But isn't that fabulous? I can't wait to put the dining table back out in and uh, get that all set up. We'll have.
views from the dining room before we were half over half the dining table was looking at a wall. Now they'll look at the at the view. It's going to be so nice. And then the wood floor is all through. Ooh, excited.